Yes, I wanted to see if I could get an update on my father. He's over there in, um, I forget what room he's in. I think it's 28 bed two. Hold on. Can you repeat that? What's the name of your father? His name is Robert Rodriguez. Yes. Yes, Mr. Rodriguez. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so um, we're really just monitoring closely his oxygen, and he's actually still doing very well on it. Um, he's saturating at 95%, and we want most patients to be within 92 to 100% on oxygen, okay. which he is. Um, we haven't had any other issues with him. If we did, we definitely would notify you, okay. um, but we haven't had any problems with him all night. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, is, there, is there anything particular that you have concerned with the heart and kidney function? Well, he's had heart attacks, and I heard that the virus is not only uh, going after the kidneys, it's also attacking the heart, too. So yeah. Yeah. Wanted to make the virus sure. is attacking multiple organs, but I will have him inform you of how his kidney and heart levels and labs are doing. Okay. Daniel. I will let them know, and I hope that he gets back to you as soon as he can. Uh, no promises, but he will be told of the information. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your work. You're very welcome. Get some rest, sir. <laughs> I <laughs> will. Thank All you. Alrighty. My father's in a tough place right now because he does have compromised health and he's doing better right now, but he was struggling for a little while. A lot of the family scared because we see the we see all the death rates and we know that my father deals with diabetes, heart problems, kidney problems. He only has one kidney, but I just got wind of this. Two days ago, didn't even know he was sick at the time. Uh, he had been very ill for like three days. But the way that my father is, he he tries to hold on. He don't want to go to the hospital. He's one of those. But he needed to go. Even I said it was a last resort. Because I, according to what you're seeing online, they're not showing us any, any recoveries coming out of New York. According to John Hopkins University, they need to fix this. Our family sad, you know, we're hurt, we're heartbroken. It's my dad. Come to find out his neighbor tested positive. And we're not even 100% sure that's what it is, but more than likely that's what it is. It's tough what we're going through right now. I love my father. He's, he's an incredible human being. It just sucks to know that he's going through that and you can't even talk to him right now. The majority of the time he's just sleeping and recovering and resting and trying to get over this his body's trying to fight it and i know deep down he's a fighter my father's always been a fighter i'm asking you to take a little time out pray for not only my father but for those who are losing their families and loved ones and have their loved ones in hospitals right now because the numbers out here in new york are out of control they're out of control and what sucks right now is that you know you try to call them text them there's no response. He, he probably doesn't even have the energy to even be awake or even want to talk to anybody. We've been calling the nurse's station, checking up on him here and there, making sure they're monitoring his kidney, his heart, and everything else. I would have never thought it would happen to my family. You know, nobody thinks it would happen to them. A lot of people won't even take it serious until it happens to them. New York is, is spreading wide and fast, and... I'm over here in America's hot, hottest hot zone. It's scary walking outside. And sometimes you gotta go outside. You gotta get your vitamin D. Sometimes you gotta go to the store. We try to avoid going to the store at all costs, but you know, you do what you gotta do. You gotta make things happen. You know, we're exercising everything that we need to be exercising as far as wearing the gloves and the mask and everything else. In all reality, New York needs to be shut down. Nobody needs to be going anywhere. It's the only way we're gonna stop this. There's still people out there playing around. There's no age barrier to this. They talk about people with compromised health. There's people that are healthy getting sick and dying from this. 
we cover your prayers. We would love to know that you're praying on our behalf. And for those of you who've been hitting me up and I haven't had the chance to get back to you, I apologize. And I'm just going through some tough times right now. It's not a. Uh, it's not easy. My dad is one of my favorite human beings on earth. I don't want him going out like this. But at the same time, I have to be strong for my family and all my loved ones because it's not easy. It's not easy. There was a period of time where his kidney wasn't working. Supposedly they put him on dialysis, which is good. He's probably going to have to go on dialysis from here on out. It sucks to go through this. Make sure you stay indoors. Make sure you stay protected. Make sure that when you walk inside the house, you're uh, sanitizing everything, disinfecting everything, your shoes, the bottom of your shoes, everything. Don't even come in your house with your shoes on. Take your clothes off as soon as you get in the house. And by any means necessary, stay indoors. Stay inside. You don't want to go through this. There's many testimonies of people out there who are going through it right now. And yes, we should be seeing the upside soon. I mean, I'm, I'm driving by Elmhurst Hospital all the time and I'm seeing that there's nobody standing outside anymore like they used to. So hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Anyways, keep your eyes open. Don't, don't be naive. I don't care if you're not in a city. You have to treat it like you have it. And you have to treat it as if everybody else has it. And this is not a joke. This is reality we're living in. And we need to stop this. We need to stop this at all costs. And the only way to do that is to stay inside your house, of which everybody's not conforming. Everybody's out doing their own thing. And it's sad because the more people stay outside, the more people are out there doing their thing, the longer this is going to linger around. But thank God it's summertime coming up soon. We know very well that this thing can't function in hot air. And through hot liquids, you should be drinking hot liquids as well. But hopefully we see a turnaround soon. Just pray. Pray for this thing because we need to get this economy going again. We need to get our vitamin C up. We need to get our immune systems up. We need to make sure we get this vitamin D, vitamin A, whatever else is out there that's going to help us. We need to overcome this. We need to get our economic situation back in order. The only way to do that is to get back to work. Seems like it's taking forever. We're already almost a month in. And we're still seeing numbers skyrocket. Sad to say. Anyways, I'm going to leave it as there. Please pray for us. We're going to get through this. We're going to be all right. All right. You guys have a good night.